Hey guys, it's me again, Tawaz Man. Today is going to be part two of Pokemon Red version. Um, that is loud. I just want to lower that. So, in the last part, we got the Pokedex, and now we're going to catch a Pokemon, maybe, maybe not. So we're just going to head up on Route 1. Um, I'm just going to fast forward through all the battle. Because I feel like it. Um, so the reason I got part out one, part one out so late is because I had a lot of trouble with the um, uh, closed captions because I had like 15 minutes worth to do. Oh yay, Bulbapedia grew to level 8. So that's cool. I recorded it Tuesday, July 25th, and I just got it out today, the day I'm recording this, um, July 29th, 2017. I actually thought it was Sunday, but nah. Alright, um, I, because I'm up, I really want to get it out Monday. Well, this part out, anyway. I might not be able to do it, but... Let's just see how things go. Um, let's see what we could buy at the Mart, now that we've delivered the parcel. Um, no potions. Um, I guess I'll buy a few Pokeballs. Um, an antidote or two. Two antidote. Um... Paralyze heal, I guess I'll take one. And you don't need burn heal this early. Nothing has fire type moves this early. The only thing actually when does Charmander burn or learn Ember? Um it might be level nine. I don't know. There's this guy you can talk to. Those Pokeballs at your waist. Yes, I have a Pokemon. I mean like if they die, they die. Um, this guy d down here, I'm pretty sure he gives you a TM. You either need Cut or Surf, which are a lot later in the game. Ooh, Secret Path. I want to explore it. Yay, Potion. That's three. I ha That's three right now. Um, yeah, ap apologies for the video taking so long. Now we're on Route 22, um, there's a few new Pokemon you can find here, um, one is, uh, Spiro, um, the, um, it's basically just a frailer Pidgey that learns Drill Peck and Fury Attack, um, uh, not much else to say there, um, if you're playing Yellow, um, you can get Mankey here, which is, when Evolved is the fastest fighting type in the game out of the first, ma. Uh, not only 151, but also out of the first three generations. Um, and also, ma. Um, uh, you can only. It also learns Thunder, which is, I guess, neat. Um, and the other. And the other two Pokemon here are the Nidorans. Um, Nidoran male and female. Alright, they are, um, the male is the more offensive of the one, while the male, yeah, the male is the more offensive, the female is more defensive. Um, so yeah, um, oh, and guess what, this thing's our new party member. Welcome to the team, bitch. Um, yeah. Oh boy. Um, the only bad thing I really have to say about the Nidorans is that, um, uh, their poison typing really hurts it. Um, but other than that, it's really good. Um, and I'm gonna name it another good name, I think. Here we are. Welcome to the team, Unicorn. 
Alright. So let's go heal him up and I'm uh train him a little. Um I don't feel like cutting it out because that would just mean more work for me and I want this out by Monday, July thirty first. At the very latest. Um, I'll probably just fast forward through it. I didn't even know, um, speaking of that tree over there, I didn't even know the potion was there. I was just like, ooh, um, secret path, let's go see what's on it. Um, there are no trainers here, but there is an optional rival battle, so, if you want to fight your rival here, um, do, um, there really is no... It's not required in any way, shape, or form. But if you're playing Pokemon Yellow, you already probably know. Um, uh, you get a Pikachu, your rival gets an Eevee. Fighting this train, fighting the trainer, fighting Blue or whatever his name is. I'm just gonna call him your rival. Um, yeah. It'll influence what form it evolves into. Um, yeah. And I like, and I can't, and I say um a lot. For some reason. Oh boy. Let's see how much tackle does. Six damage. Crap. I'm not going to use Rattata. Because, again. It's a good Pokemon early game. It's just not that worthwhile later on. Like. Yeah. Also, I said I was going to fast forward through this. But. No, nah, apparently not. Oh boy, the joys of half lying. Um, yeah. Oh, so I didn't want to go down there. Wonderful. The joys of having a fast forward. I mean, um, if you if you're really curious and want to fight them, um. He has a level 9 Pidgey, Spearow in yellow, and, uh, the star, um, and whatever starter he had back in Pallet Town. Um, yeah. Oh my god, it's gonna, it's gonna kill me. Oh, uh, no, it only did 4 damage. Yay, level 4! Um... Alright, 9 speed is decent. I actually don't know what... This might just be a really crappy Nidoran, I don't know. But either way, I'm, I'm still gonna use it. Oh boy, um, new Nidoran. Oh yay, one, one or two damage every tackle. Fun. Um, yeah. So this is probably the number one worst part about the Pokemon games, in my opinion. If you catch a Pokemon this early, you pretty much have to grind in order to be slightly valuable. And and the part and the tip I said in the last video applies just as much as ever. Just fight everything you see this early in the game. Um, but by the time you get past the uh, Pewter City, which is the next city from here. Um, Keep saying, um, um, yeah. There's gonna be trainers, so unless you really want to catch Pokemon, my advice is to just fight the trainers. If you really need to grind, fight the wild Pokemon there, because, yeah. Ten attack. Yeah, so this might be a really crap Nidoran, but, like, whatever. The joys of grinding. At least it's really easy to level up. Um, because I kind of want, like... I think this is... I want this to be, like, a walkthrough. Kind of. Except I'm terrible at explaining shit. I'm just gonna fight the... I'm just gonna fight the rival here. Um, a lot later in the game, you do have to fight him here. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the only um, optional rival battle. Um... In addition to what form the EV has in yellow for this battle, it is also influenced by if you win or lose I'm, uh, back in Op Oak's lab. Like, I'm pretty sure...
if you if you did both, um, as in win the trainer fight at Pewter and do and win here. Oh, there's neither and female. Um, yeah. I'm pretty sure you get him a uh, Vaporeon. If you do one, you get Jolteon, and if you do neither, you get Flareon. Flareon is the one you want. And this might take a while, because... Yay, it used Rao. Level 6, it's starting to get up there. It, it's very easy to train in these early levels, because your Pokemon don't need that much experience to level up. Like... Back in Oak's lab, like, you fight one Pokemon, it's just like, bam, level 6. I'm pretty sure it's the way in Gold and Silver, too. Like, you fight your rival, and you get 69 experience points, which, if you haven't trained at all, um, it takes you to level 6. I'm not sure if it's 69 or if it's, like, some other number. Oh, there's Spiro. Um, Yeah. There are no new Pokemon on that route other than that. Spiro. Yeah, there's ledges here. That are annoying. If you don't know why you can't go up ledges, apparently you have to like jump down from them. And in the Pokemon world, it's apparently illegal to jump from ledges. Oh boy, jump on top of ledges. Oh boy, level 7. Um, once you get to level 16, just like my, the starters, if you watch the closed captions in the video, that um, the Nidoran will evolve into either Nidorino if it's male, or Nidorino if it's, a fe if it's female. Um, in addition to those, um, Nidoran male is more common in red and yellow, and Nidoran fe actually, no, they're equally common in yellow, but they're, but, um, uh, Nidoran male, Nidoran male is a lot more common in red, and Nidoran female is a lot more common in blue, so, food for thought. Uh, um, speaking of, um, uh, last part, it was a bit of a pain to cap- to close caption those videos because one, I forgot to say a lot of stuff, and two, it's 15 minutes worth of video. Like, I like trolled um, uh, Misha by like, by like doing, by like, because like some guy hacked in his channel and they put like closed captions on his videos. So I just like edited it around a bit, but I'm pretty sure it's all changed now. But that video was like a minute long, but. And it already had the captions established, but now I had to do them from scratch, and... Oh boy, level 8. Oh boy, Horn Attack. Horn Attack is essentially a stronger tackle. And I think it has a higher accuracy. I'm pretty sure it's 99.6 instead of 95. And the reason I say 99.6 is because... Every move in Generation 1, except for Swift, can miss. No matter what. If it's a 100% accuracy move, it w can and will miss. Because there's a glitch in... There's a flaw in the game's coding, which is like... Alright, generator... Let's say you're, go you're gonna use Horn Attack, um, like I'm gonna use... Um, it generates a random number between 0 and 255. If the number is... Less than 255, the move um, critic the move hits and not criticals. Um, critical hits are also different in this game. Also, I don't know why that ledge is up there. And here's the rival fight. Hey, what? You're going to the Pokemon League? Forget it. You probably don't have any badges. Guard won't let you through. By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? Yeah, I have two of them. So the formula for crits in Gen 1 is base speed over 512. Base speed times 100 over 512, and then they put that into percent. For example, let, let's just do 64 base speed. Nothing nothing in, in, uh, 
Gen 1 has 64 base speed, but it just makes my life easier. Um, 64 times 100 is 6,400. Divide that by 512. It comes out to about 12.5% chance that it will crit. Um, in the later generations, um, it instead works on a fixed formula. Every, every Pokemon, no matter their speed, has a six has a 1 in 16 chance to crit. And Unicorn is level 9. Yay. 15 attack. Alright. Uh, whatever. Yeah, sure, I'll switch. And so we meet again. I'm just gonna fast forward through the rest of his. Um, yeah. This might take a while. There. 111. And it, that is also level 9. Alright. Oh, you just lucked out. And you get $280. I heard Pokemon League has many tough trainers. I have to figure out how to get past them. Just to quit dwaddling and get a move on. And now he sounds like an even... And now he sounds even more like a 40-year-old smoker from New York. Jesus Christ. Um, it makes sense because... My mom does come from Brooklyn. So yeah. I have a bit of uh, Italiano blood. So, for any of you who own Splatoon 2, apparently there's a Splatfest going on, um, sometime. I don't know when it is, but, oh, by the way, this old man will teach you how to catch Pokemon. Ah, I've had my coffee now, and now I feel great. Sure, you can go through. Are you in a hurry? Hell yeah, I am. Time is money. Go along, then. I, I should do like the old Raspy, like, oh, hey! Oh, I think I just shit my pants and hookers look at me living grass. <laughs> um, route 2, um, there's two new Pokemon here. Um, apparently there's an item here. Um, but either way, there's two new Pokemon here. Um, which are Caterpie and Weedle. Th there's Weedle right there. Um, Weedle you can only find in red this early. And Caterpie you can only find in blue this early. Um... Caterpie is the more defensive of the two, and Weedle is the more offensive. Um, plus, it does have an added poison type, which really actually kind of benefits it because Caterpie at level ten, at level seven, evolves into something which you'll find here: um, Viridian Forest. Um, I might, it might as well heal go real quickly because. I don't even think... Did I take any damage? One. Um, I have three potions. It should be enough. But at level 10, after it evolves into whatever it is at level 7, which you can actually find in the next area, um, it evolves into a bug fi flying type, which is one of the worst type combinations in the game. Um, they, My opinion on them is that they're good early on, but because they evolve so fast, they really, like, they really start to fall behind later on. Welcome to Viridian Force. I came here with some friends. They're out for Pokemon fights. This is the first place it's where there are mandatory trainers. Um, trainers grant you more XP than uh, Pokemon fights because they're, like, actual Pokemon. Trainer tips. If you want to avoid battles, stay away from grassy areas. Wild Pokemon battles, but some trainer battles are unavoidable. I ran out of Pokeballs to catch Pokemon with. You should carry extras. I think I have four on me. I don't even want to catch anything here, but I'm, uh... And it did... This is the first place where you can catch 
Caterpie in red and Weedle in blue, though they are extremely rare. And this is the first trainer you can encounter. Hey, you have Pokemon! Come on, let's battle them! Yeah. Bugcatcher. Um, in later games, they are given names like um, uh, Youngster Joey or um, uh, Fire Breather Dick. Those, those are the first two that came off my head. Because memes. Oh boy, critical hit. This is fun. Um, yeah, I'll switch. Um, you can also find the ev evolutions of Caterpie and um, Weedle, which are Metapod and Kakuna. I would probably just catch them as a Caterpie and Weedle, respectively. Mainly just because they only know Harden, and it's going to be really hard to get them up, up in the levels. Um... In red and blue, you can catch him, uh, Pikachu here, which is the only place where you can catch Pikachu. Um, it's a decent electric type, and it's the first one you can find, but it's going to be useless against Brock because he's a rock type gym, except both of his Pokemon are rock and ground type. So that's fun. And in yellow version, um, there is a very, 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 very rare chance, also known as 1%, that you can find, um, a, a Pidgeotto here. They're level 9, and, again, rock ground, yeah, I wouldn't do it. Oh, by the way, um, if you go through these... You cannot encounter Pokemon. I guess I'll fight this trainer. Yo, you can't jam out if you're a Pokemon trainer. Okay. In yellow, there are... Every one in, in this area is bug catchers. Except in yellow, where there is a lass with neater and male and female. Both level 6. I'm just going to speed through this. I feel like it. Yeah, Unicorn's level 10. Alright, alright. So, that's a Kakuna. I guess I'll send out Bulbapedia. It's not evident in this art, but, like, if you look at the official art for Kakuna, I can't edit it in because I don't have, like, Sony Vegas, but... It looks like it's wearing a tie. Like, once you see it, you can never unsee it. Um, yeah. So that's fun. Oh, and by the way, yeah, it only knows Harden. And pretty much, unless, you, unless you're playing yellow, every attack this early is physical. And if you've been sticking to the newer generations, um, every type has a... Is either physical or special. It's not dependent on moves, it's dependent on type. Like, normal moves, ground moves, bug moves, fighting moves, they're all physical. Whereas, um, fire type, fire, water, grass, and electric moves, they're all special. So you could have Thunder Punch, and it would be special, and you could have Hyper Beam, and you could be, f and it could be physical. Trainer tips: Contact Professor Rope via the PC to get your Pokedex evaluated. Okay. Um, I think that's just an antidote. Yeah, it's an antidote. I guess I'll go around here because why not? Oh, the music for here is actually really catchy. I'm not even gonna lie. Crap, I can't do the notes anymore. Uh, the joys. Ooh, item. I want it. That's four potions that you can have right now. Trainer tips. No staying of Pokemon from other trainers. Catch only wild Pokemon. That's basically a way of saying, if you try to catch other people's Pokemon, 
it, they'll block the Pokeball. Unicorn. Actually, no. Bulba Bulbapedia go on front. Hey, wait up! What's the hurry? A lot. So this guy. This guy. This guy is Weedle. Nothing much to say about that. It's just level 9. I'm just going to speed through this. Yay, level 11. I defeat the bug catcher. I give! You're good at this! Yeah, I spam tackle and horn attack. The joys of generation 1. And the last trainer tips. Leaving up, oh, it just says leaving Viridian Forest. Pewter City ahead. Um... Have you noticed the bushes on the roadside that can be cut down by a special Pokemon move? That is a terrible impression of an old lady. I will never do that again. Many Pokemon only live in forests and caves. You need to look everywhere to get different kinds. Because this is Gen 1, and if you want to complete your Pokedex, it's actually possible without going insane. Though you don't need to like trade at some points. So... We made it out of Viridian Forest, so I guess that's a good ending point. So, next time on Pokemon Red, I'm, uh, we're going to be grinding to fight Pewter City's gym. See you guys then.